Hey guys, so I kind of just wanted to jump on here um, just to kind of make a video about my most asked questions. Um, basically of my process, my experience, and what happened uh, with my flight attendant career. So um, hopefully you get some insight on this video. If you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't waste your time. Um, but yeah, so just remember that everyone's experience is different. Everyone's process is different. So if you are thinking about being a flight attendant and you're watching this, um, please don't think what happened to me is going to happen to you. But yeah, so let's jump right in. All right, so um, let's just talk about my process uh, to start. So I actually have an aunt who works for an airline and she told me, hey, there's this other airline that's hiring for flight attendants. You would be so great for it and I think you should apply. I mean, like, why not? What do you have to lose? So I took her advice and I applied. I went online onto their website, just on their careers and um, literally just regular normal application. Once I was finished with the application, uh, about two weeks after I received a um, link to do a video interview, the video interview was very awkward for me. Um, it was kind of just doing this, like being on camera and um, answering customer service related questions. After that, um, about a week later, I got invited to do an in-person interview. They um, sent me flight information because they flew me out to San Francisco, California, um, to do the in-person interview, which was great. Um, as soon as I went, you know, I flew out, I stayed the night. Next morning, I had my interview at the airport and um, my interview was definitely different than others that I've had in the past. and. I just kind of like walked right in. I brought two pieces of my resume for just in case because you just never know. And um, the flight attendant that I was doing my interview with, she kind of just brought me um, to like a one-on-one -on -one interview and asked me about my head current position I was working at. Um, at the time I was working for Disney, uh, for the Walt Disney Company. And she just asked me like, hey, so um, I kind of just want to know like, what do you like about it? What do you like about the company? Tell me some great stories. Like, tell me about the company. So I started telling her about my position I worked in, um, which park, which was California Adventure Park that I worked at, and things like that. She got so excited. She told me that the last time she had went, um, she had never been at the Cars Land, so we just started talking about that. At the end of the interview, she asked me, okay, um, not even interview, it was more like just talking to each other. At the end, she ended up asking me if I could please just um, explain to her a situation that was very out of hand that I had to deal with. So I did explain about a situation um, and right after she said, okay, cool, thank you so much. Um, will you walk with me this way? So we start walking and I thought she was walking me out, which I mean, I wasn't really hurt because I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Um, but she actually invited me to do a second interview. She was walking me to another room to do the second interview, which was really cool. Uh, when I got to the second interview, it was um, in front of two people, uh, like two other gentlemen that I don't, I don't know, I think they were supervisors. I, to be honest, I have no idea what they were, who they were. Um, they just asked me four questions. Um, the four questions that they asked me was, why did I choose the company? What can I bring for the company? And then, um, if I could tell them a little bit about myself and why I chose my outfit for the day. I wore a plain black dress and a white cardigan. So I mean, I, I don't know, and a watch. Um, so I answered those four questions and then they offered me a position, which was great, cool, yay, exciting. And they said, okay, um, we will send you information about training when training is available, whatever. That was all in 2017. So in March 2017, I went to Houston, Texas for training, a six and a half week course um, that honestly, I couldn't believe I got myself into. It is so much. I did not realize how much flight attendants really do. I didn't 
I really should have done my research. Um, I unfortunately only did five weeks of training. Um, I, okay, so week five for us, for my training class specifically, we um, were doing our evacuations, our land evacuations, where you're on a plane and you have to evacuate the, the plane as if you landed on ground. My, um, I was by myself in first class and um, the plane was like tilted so it was like this and this door didn't open um, it just couldn't it just didn't open it wasn't working so I went to this door and I luckily did get it open but when I pushed it out um, I like yanked it on a little bit to make sure that it cl it like stays locked so people could leave and it doesn't fly back well it flew back and I caught it like this so as you can see my hands this is not a way to catch a door. Um, anyways, I got really bad internal freezing on my arm. And I finished the evacuation and I passed, which was great. It was amazing because it was the most stressful thing I had ever done in my entire life. Like, I swear I blacked out and I don't remember that I passed, but I did. And um, But when my instructor was letting me know that I did pass the land evacuation, um, I would have to go to medical due to the fact that my arm was purple. So I went to medical and they put me on a 48 hour resting period for my arm. So that way, you know, I could heal and then I can go back and finish training. Unfortunately, um, I couldn't be on a 48 hour hold because I had other things to do that required physical activity and that affected me from finishing training. I had to go home, which was difficult. Um, it was so difficult, I fought so hard. Um, I really didn't, tr I tried to argue nicely to make them let me stay because I, I don't know, it was something I really wanted. And unfortunately, um, I did get released from the company, uh, well, from training, and they told me, you know, sorry, uh, this is it, go take care of yourself goodbye basically um, but in a nicer way and so then I decided to buy a ticket and I flew out to Houston for the graduation I was supposed to be in to speak to um, the in-flight supervisor because I was so determined to get back and going and earn my wings um, for those of you who don't know what earn my wings mean it's kind of like receiving your diploma like your certificate or whatever that's what it is um so i went to the interview and i i mean the interview i'm so sorry <laughs> so um i went to the graduation and i met a lovely girl her name is caroline which thank you caroline for being such an amazing friend when we just met um i did get they did invite me back to training i got the in-flight supervisor to invite me back to training she did she said she heard about me it was such a tragic thing to hear and she was so glad that I showed up and it really showed how much determination I had and we needed people like me in the company and she personally invited me back which was amazing but I wouldn't be able to attend the classes that session in 2017 um, which was fine but I still stayed for the graduation and watched all my friends pin their wings they posted videos they um, had like pictures and even the speaker you know even said like we are not a class of this many and he included me in it and um it was just really nice i was a total mess i cried so much um i really did it was it was hard um for those of you who knew when i came back thank you um i'm so thankful for my family and my friends who truly supported me on this and still supported me when I had to go home and then when I bought my flight to go back and make sure that I could get it again and fulfill this dream. Um, I'll post, you know, here's some pictures. My family had threw me a going away party. I was just so devastated that I was, you know, I didn't get to finish training with the rest of my classmates. and. You'll see pictures of a beautiful going away party that my mother threw for me, which thank you so much, and um, saying goodbye to my family, and um, just 
maybe a few videos or pictures of me in training in 2017. a lot of you guys know that I was a flight attendant so how did this happen um and 2018 is when we finally had the next training session unfortunately in September when they were supposed to do it 2017 there was a hurricane so due to weather conditions it was unable to have a training class so I went early 2018 training all over again so those six and a half weeks, I got to do it all over again. And it was different this time, but it was, it was fun. I met new people. I met some great friends that I'm still friends with. And it was just a different time for me. Um, the training class was great. There was a lot of things that I already knew that I was familiar with. So it was nice to have that advantage um, on me. And I definitely worked a lot harder and was more focused this time. Thank you to all my family and friends who supported me on this and still supported me um, throughout the entire training process because you guys know it was rough on me. I did have a lot of family uh, things going on at home and so it was very tough for me not to just get up and leave because I'm definitely that type of person to just get up, I'll get up and drop everything for my family and the ones that I love. And um, thank you to you know my roommate who helped and supported me, my boyfriend and my family and my friends, those loved ones that really just helped me stick it out this time. And I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, I'll insert some clips from training and you know just things that I did being in Houston. I was in Houston again. I didn't explore last time I was there, so I needed to explore this time. And yeah, so you know just check them out. So they're trying to de-stress and look what the fuck this bitch is doing. such an amazing accomplishment for me. I learned so much. I didn't realize how strong of a person I am and how determined I can be for something that I didn't even want in the first place. So for me to have earned my wings was phenomenally amazing. Um, I did have a lucky friend of mine who was in my 2017 class fly out to pin my wings for me and it was amazing to be able to celebrate with you know, with my loved ones. Uh, my mom and my aunt flew out to see me for my graduation. Um, I unfortunately was only able to invite two people and um, it was my aunt and my mother who came out um, because the rest of my family and loved ones I would see after. So I got to finally earn my wings. It was amazing. And then I had to prepare to go home and pack because I had one week to move to San Francisco because that's where I got based at. Um, yeah, so here's a video of how excited you guys can just see my excitement. Look who's here, fitting my wings. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
definitely I'm a Southern California girl. I <laughs> Northern California is just so different for me. Um, but it was great because I was close to home. So I am very, very thankful because there were some people who um, weren't close to home and that was hard for them. Um, I loved it. Everyone always asks me, you know, what was it like? Did you like flying? Were you tired? Did you get cool trips? Yes, all of those things. I was tired constantly. Um, see, not being able to be close to family and friends was definitely difficult for me. And um, flying back to see my family and friends, it was more like I flew back to go to sleep. So for the, a lot of people were like, oh, but you, I seen you with Victor. Yeah, to go eat eat he'd pick me up take me out to eat and then I would fall asleep for like 12 hours that was spending time when I came down here same thing with my family go see them we would talk for a bit and then I would go to sleep um, just because I was really tired you know flying's a lot for those of you who know that you know jet lags jet lags a lot so it's definitely was hard on my body but I did get to experience amazing places domestically and I did fly uh, one international um, which was South Korea. Um, amazing. I'm so blessed to have gone to these places and experienced something different that I didn't think I would ever get to experience ever. Um, I'll just throw some clips and some, you know, videos if I have any of, of me flying. So. <laughs> guys look at this it's so beautiful okay now to answer the question I've been avoiding what happened are you still a flight attendant no I am NOT a flight attendant um, some people have reached out and they responded saying it was due to medical reasons um, which was part of it uh, towards the end of my flight attendant career, I um, got grounded in Houston for getting ear block because you know it's normal to get ear block, but I was bleeding. Um, but that wasn't the reason, to be quite honest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I lied to you. I'm sorry. Um, communication is very important. And for those of you who were there for me, I just wanted to say thank you. My roommates, you guys were amazing. So I have 10 minutes until I have to leave for my trip. And look at these girls making me eat. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Who really supported me, my classmates, my family, my friends, those who know, thank you for sticking by my side because you guys know how hard it was for me to put down my wings. Um, just... Communication is key guys if Somebody's gonna say they're gonna do something and they have it in an email screenshot that email Keep those emails keep everything that you can um, just keep everything that you can and If this is something you really want you got to fight for it. I did unfortunately due to Miscommunication with scheduling um, and Two supervisors, I was constantly thrown around with supervisors. Um, I am no longer with the company that I was working for. And unfortunately, it was a very difficult time for me. I definitely went through, you know, I had depressed feelings. It was hard for me. And those of you who have reached out, thank you. Those of you who have supported me, thank you. I honestly, my two roommates um, that have always kept in touch with me in San Francisco, which is uh, Mar and Brittany, you guys have been phenomenally amazing. And then Rachel, you have been, she's from my class, 1801, you are amazing. I am so thankful for your friendship and your supportiveness. You are truly the one person who really fought for me and really... I'm so sorry, I don't, I don't want to cry. Sorry, um, sorry about that. Um, this is just hard. It was really hard for me, you guys. And I know a lot of people won't understand what happened. Um, but I don't feel like I have to explain, to be honest with you guys. I 
Unfortunately, due to miscommunication with scheduling and supervisors in flight, it just didn't work out for me. And that's it. You know, I, I'm so thankful. I've gone through so much and it has been such a huge blessing for me in my life and I'm so thankful that God let me experience this and I'm not saying that bad things happen you know and this was it and I hate the company and I hate everything about being a flight attendant no I loved it it was amazing unfortunately with that company it just didn't work out for me and there's other companies that's what's so great about the airline industry is that there's not just one airline um, personally for me I just can't go through another training um, I went through two years of it I was known for it. I was the girl that got hurt. I mean, my first, literally my first flight ever, somebody recognized me. It was like, are you the girl that got hurt? Were you from that class? I, all the time in San Francisco, everybody heard about my story. Everyone's heard about my journey. And it was a lot for me to have to put down my wings. It was very difficult. Um, I still have them. They're in my closet with my uniforms. I can't let them go because it's a good memory that I just don't want to let go of because one of these days I might just go back and get my wings um, I'm not in the friendly skies anymore I have a stable job I'm happy with the company I'm currently working at I'm doing great um, friends that still keep in contact thank you that are in the industry I really wanted to say thank you Lorena and Rachel I love our Disney dates thank you guys so much for coming with me to Disneyland every chance that you guys get and keeping in touch with me with your guys's lives I do appreciate those flight attendants that did reach out to me and you know tell me they were honest and I appreciate honesty they feel uncomfortable having to bring that up especially knowing my situation and they felt you know like they were being rude because they didn't want to rub it in my face but it's okay you're not rubbing it in my face I love seeing that you guys are truly happy um thank you guys so much to friends that have flown out to LA to come see me you're amazing Fulda, Tino all of you guys like you guys were so nice and I appreciate your friendship they even you know they say it in training the friends that you're gonna meet today might be your lifelong friends and for those of you who have stuck with me I'm so thankful for you I'm so thankful for my family um, those that I love even when we were all spread apart you know Erica you're out there in New Jersey and I can't thank you enough for being so supportive in everything you and your family have been amazing to me and I'm so thankful for it babe Victor you have been such an amazing boyfriend to go through my depressions my emotions everything that happened and I know you didn't understand at the time and family same thing my friend friends and family I know you guys didn't understand my feelings and why I was so hurt but I'm just so thankful that you guys have truly stuck it by my side and supported me on my dreams no matter what it's been even when you guys didn't understand and didn't know what was going on and when I finally was able to talk about it you supported me and I'm so thankful for all of my friends and family that have stuck by my side I've lost some I've gained some I've gained knowledge and I've lost you know it's just I've learned my strength I've become a different person and I love how much this had affected me um, it's still difficult it's been a year um, it's actually been a year since October 9th which um, was difficult for me but I don't want this to shy away anybody. I think this is an amazing opportunity. If you want to be a flight attendant, you've been thinking about it, you've been dreaming about it, I hope this helped. And I say go for it. It was so much fun. I had a great time. I'll add pictures and videos so you guys can see, you know, how happy I was, the things that I got to see and experience. And I hope that one day you guys can too. It's amazing. I still travel. Um, I still have friends who support me on everything. And I kind of just wanted to talk about it you know so that way you guys know um, I get asked so much you guys would be really surprised it's probably the number one thing that I'm asked um, hey how are you are you a flight attendant are you still flying are you still with that company or what are you doing now Jaslyn you're always up and going <laughs> like, what's going on and I'm, I'm appreciative of you guys thank you so much for checking up on me I think it's nice that people are interested in 
my life and what I do. And um, here it is. This is what I'm doing. I am happy right now. I'm in a stable job and I'm excited about what I'm doing. Um, the leadership positions that I've currently take upon myself has been a blessing and um, travel will always be there. So um, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry it's a little dark and then a little light. You know, I have the window open and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching this video. I will um, tag my friend. She actually um, made a video about her process of, you know, becoming a flight attendant. So check it out because do your research. See what people have gone through. See their own experiences. So that way, you know, you know what you're getting yourself into if you're ever interested. Um, thanks, Brittany, for allowing me to put attach this video. Um, down at the bottom, the link will be there in my bio. So, um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.